Hello, in this Citro video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Xbox controller and I'll cover 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series controllers as well, cover all of that in a moment. So you can use them on your Citro emulator, which is a 3DS emulator. So that will be pretty darn cool. Just want to say this video is not condoning piracy, assuming that you own the ROMs, you know, all of that good stuff. Okay, so let's get started on this. We'll be using something called Joy 2 Key to map it because I've had, you know, problems trying to use controllers with the Citra emulator without using some extra software. I always try and use it without extra software. One, it's easier that way. And two, I find if it's just like directly connecting, they're always usually a bit better. You know, fans, this has worked, you know, pretty flawlessly to be fair. And it's easy for you guys as well because obviously it makes, you know, the setup easier but it is what it is but i'll cover all the steps anyway so first of all i just want to cover what controller you have so if we have an xbox 360 controller and i'll cover the wired one first and that's the one with the wire directly in it and you would have to literally break it out to you know detach it that's plug and play you plug it in windows will install any drivers that are required and then you're good to go and that's it in terms of a 360 wireless controller, <laughs> this is where it gets a bit, you know, kind of patchy. So with this, you can't use this charger cable. This only transfers power, not data. So you're out of luck. What you'll need is a dongle. And these can be pretty costly. You know, if you wasn't expecting to buy one of these, there are third party ones. I, I say you'll stick with the official, you know, like Microsoft ones, for example because they're going to give you the best compatibility. So you just plug it in. This is like having a sync button on your Xbox. Then you press the sync button on your 360 controller, which I'll show you right here. So you know where it is, like just that button there and the light will flash on both devices. And then it's sync up simple. If you have an Xbox one controller, uh, what you can do is just connect a micro USB cable to your controller the other end into your pc get any drivers that need to be installed windows will handle it and it's plug and play for wireless this is where it gets even more annoying than 360 because depending on what controller you have like i've got two xbox one controllers right here for wired they work the same but this one which is an older one requires a dongle if you want to go wireless this is a newer one from project scorpio aka xbox one x this has bluetooth built in so you can just use regular Bluetooth and it's like, oh, but what I've done is I, well, what I, yeah, what I've done is provided a handy link in the description where you can identify if you have a controller with Bluetooth or without. If you have it without, then you'll need one of these, a another dongle. The 360 one will not work. You'll need one of these. Again, it's just extra expense when you're not, you know, expecting it. And I, I remember buying one of these dongles not long before the bluetooth version of the controllers came out i'm pretty sure i have it in one of my drawers right here let me see if i can find it i'm going off on a tangent and that's the voice power cable, so it wouldn't be here. Uh, where the heck? Oh, is that it? I had it here somewhere. I think it's down below a bunch of these, you know, adapters. I feel like it's, it's below there. I won't keep looking because I don't want to waste too much time. But yeah, I had one of those. This is getting stuck. I had one of those. Still got it actually, like I was saying. You know, I got one of those, and I bought it just before the Bluetooth ones came out. That was annoying, but it is what it is. And yeah, so with this, what you'll need to do is press the sync button, which is just at the side there. There, the light will start flashing. Press the sync button on your controller. It'll sync up as if you're syncing it to like a xbox one for example 
for the Bluetooth one, you can still use the dongle, which is great. So, so uh, that is nice as well, but you can also use Bluetooth. So if you have Bluetooth built in, or if you get a cheap dongle for a few quid, a few dollars off Amazon or eBay, got mine off, I think it was Amazon, just a few dollars, and you're all good to go. And that's the method I'll be showing you soon. And then finally, the Xbox Series X controller, the Series controller, because they come with Series S, Series X, and this is an, like a, a one that I bought after it didn't come with it, but it's still you know, a Series controller. You can either connect it via USB-C directly, plug and play it there again, or you can plug it or connect it via Bluetooth, no dongle required with Series. This is the reason I love this one. So you know if you get, if you have a Series controller, if you have that around, and you actually like the series and the Xbox One design over the 360 design, which is pretty nice. The series controller is much better than the Xbox One as well. well you know, with the grip and just the way and the D-pad and everything, everything feels. It's, it's like a like an Elite 0 0.5. So it's not quite an Elite, but it's not quite an Xbox One controller. Now, what we're going to do is hook this up. So what we'll do is uh, type in Bluetooth. Obviously, if you're doing wired or dongle, you can skip this step. And you go to add Bluetooth or device, click Bluetooth, or go to devices and printers. I will show this menu because the other newer one doesn't work. And maybe if you're on an older OS, so just click add a device and you'll go into, you know, scanning mode. So to put it into pairing mode, your controller, you press the sync button or you keep it pressed till this starts flashing. So let me do that. It started flashing, click Bluetooth, click Xbox wireless controller. There we go, it's done. Click done. And before we do Joy 2 key, let me show you what happens if I just go directly to Citra. I know this is kind of becoming a long video. Oh, has my battery just died? Because the controller literally just turned off. There we go, no batteries are out, I don't know why it turned off. Okay, so if we go to here, go to configure, for example, go to controls, press that, and let's, let's say if we try and press stuff, it doesn't you know, detect it, which is super annoying. And that hasn't detected A, so if I don't press anything, it'll automatically revert back to you know the old one. So it is annoying. So what we'll do, we'll close it down, and the tool we'll need, is called joy to key i've already got it open i'll close it down and i'll reinstall it so you can see what you need to do go to joy to key.net go to download and you just grab one of these installers i just get it from the joy to key website open that up yes i accept next 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 uh, Yep, that's fine, it'll automatically close it. So yeah, so it's being installed. There we go, so it's just overridden where it was before. Otherwise, it'll give you a chance to change the location. Now, what we can do is map this. So if I press a key, so if I press A, it'll tell you which key it is You know, being triggered. You can create multiple profiles, so if you want a profile for a different game, for a different genre, different emulator even, so that, that that's another thing because this will just map it as a keyboard key. And once you've got that, you can just play it on anything, really. That, that's the amazing thing about this. So if I want to, let's map the face buttons. So A is button one. You double click that. Or click edit button assignment. And now here, while this is selected yellow, you just press a key on your keyboard. I press A. You can do multiple keys. You can do mouse movements. You can even do text. So if you press A, you might pump out some text, for example, which is pretty darn cool. So you could use it, I guess, outside of, you know, Citra, but we'll just deal with Citra for now. B, which is button two. And I'll just put B, it doesn't really matter what you actually put, we'll try, we'll try and map it accordingly. X, which is button three. Y, which is button four. And what we'll do now is start and select, start is button eight. 
I'll do enter. That makes sense. Select. Oh. Yeah, the equivalent of select is button seven. And I'll put, I'll put backspace for that. And what else we got? We got this share button. See if he actually picks this up. Share button not being picked up. That's fine. We'll do the D pad now. Probably be, uh, there we go. And you know what it is because it's got the up arrow. So we just do that and we'll put up for that. So if I press right on the keyboard, it goes right. That's, which one was this one? This was left and this is down. Okay, so now let's do the analog stick. So the left analog stick is stick one, but always confirm. And for this, I'll just do, I mean, I'll just do, well, I guess, I think I've got WASD configured to anything. I'll configure it to this. A, D, W, S, and now stick two. I'll configure it to the num numpad. So numpad four, numpad six, which will be numpad eight, and then finally numpad two. We're almost done. Let's configure, you know, the shoulder button. So do RB first, and I'll just do page up. Again, doesn't really matter. Right trigger is button 12. I'll do page down. And LB is button five. I'll do home. And button 11 is LT and I'll do end for that. And I think we've pretty much configured everything. Actually, haven't configured the sticks. We can configure them. There's no harm in it. And let's do the math. Again, doesn't matter. Let's do it as the insert. <laughs> do we have... Actually, no. One second. Right analog stick was, was number 10. Wanted to confirm. There we go. I know it's been like quite of a long little process, but that's it. That's all good. We can close this down. And what you'll notice is it still, you know, appears, stays open. You need it to stay open. Otherwise, the keys won't map. So you can just reopen it. And what we'll do now is open up Citra. And if you haven't set up Citra, I'll have a video in the description covering how to set it up. So feel free to check that out. And I'll do videos doing this on Mac, Linux, that sort of stuff as well. And then I'll have videos on how to set up different emulators for Android and iOS as well. So go to emulation, configure. And if we go to controls, I'll just clear all of them. And if I press that, press A, D, X, Y, now the D-pad. And again, I'm just going to quickly go through it. Now the circle pad. Okay, so this will be the left stick I'll do. I feel like there might be a hotkey for it, possibly. Nope. Ooh, e oh, A. I'd already configured A for the left stick. Let's go back into it. So, so what we'll do, we'll just change that to F, for example. That's fine. At least it did tell us. So, F, right, up, down, and yeah, we can set the, you know, jo joystick. So we can press a key. Eh, actually, we won't do that. That's fine. We don't need to do that. We'll do C stick now. Left, right, up, down. And the shoulder buttons are L. And there we go. We've got start. That's it. Obviously, configure more if we want to, but I'll just leave it at that and i'll click ok and click ok open up super mario land i'm going to turn the volume down 
and we'll see you working. If I press A, boom. If I press up and down, boom. I mean, it's just so exciting. If I press B, it should take us back. And if I press by A, and there we go. Fantastic. Obviously, this is just like a cutscene. Uh, and I'm not too sure if I can even skip this cutscene, but that's fine. I'll just close it down because you can see that it is now working. So that is the Citra emulator hooked up to your Xbox controller. That will work with 360. It'll work with Xbox One. It'll work with Xbox Series X. If you have another sort of mapper that you use like, you know, Rewazd, that's a great one. Love that one. The only reason I didn't use that one, it's not free. It's a trial, but it's not free. So I wanted to do something that was free that was relatively easy to set up and that's it. So once you guys set up that Joy2 key part, you can just use this in any application, any game, any you know, emulator that you want and you'll be all good to go. So it's that simple. If you have any questions, because it has been quite a long video, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description and there's a channel under emulation called Citra. So feel free to post your question there. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.